Okay, hey, what's up, guys? Luke Row here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a bucket server. Okay, so first, you're you're going to already need to know how to set up a server, uh, like with port forwarding or um, log me in Hamachi. And so, what what you need to do first of all is go to bucket.org and find the download for Craft Bucket, which is right here. You just click Get Craft Bucket. Well, actually, okay, where is it? Here, right, the recommended builds. So you just click, usually the first one, make sure it's 1.3.1, .1 or whatever version you have right there. Okay, and you just hit download, right there. So then it should download over here, and it'll take some time. And while it's downloading, you can, you need to make a new folder, and just call whatever you want. And you're going to hold your server in there. Okay. Okay, and then once it's done, just drag in the um, dot .jar, I think it is. Yeah, the dot .jar. And go ahead and just rename it. Okay, rename it to just craft bucket. Like that. Okay, and then you're just going to need to right-click and then text make a new text document and just open it and then go into the description and there should be a text string which you need to put paste in here so just copy it and paste it right there and make sure it says craftbucket.jar exactly right there so these are the same okay so make sure that and the dot jar is the same okay and then you can just close this save it and then rename the text document to run or whatever you want and make sure it's dot bat dot bat okay and then it'll want you to change the file and then you just hit yes and now it's a bat file so you can run it and it looks like you know a prompt okay so then it'll start putting in all the standard things for the you know for the servers right so then it's preparing the spawn point right here Okay, so once it says done, it's done, so you can just close that out. And you need to go into your server.properties and just edit that like you normally would. Because if you know how to make a vanilla server, then you can just do that. And, you know, get all the whitelist and everything you want. And it also has plugins. So I'm just going to show you real quick how to get the, uh, just a simple world edit plugin. Which is a really useful plugin. So Okay, so you just go to bucket.org and to get your plugins you just click you know get plugins and then here's lists and lists and pages of pages of plugins so I'm just gonna search um, world edit I'll just search world and there it is right there so here it is and you can just download let's see where's the download there okay here's the download right there so you just click that and you can just download that uh, I'll do it and then right here. And then it's right here. And then I opened it. Okay. And it has like a readme and it tells you how to install it, but I'll just show you. So you go in your plugins. And you go in and then you just need to drag world.jar right into your plugins. That's pretty much it. Um this is optional if you want to do that. I didn't, but you know, it just works fine without that. So and then you should just be able to um run the server that should work and you should be able to get into it and world edit should work um, you need to make sure to do your server properties right so I'm just gonna set that real quick okay so let me reload that so it's in there. Okay, and then you can just get into it. Alright, so here I am. I'm in the game. And I'm I'm running the server. So you can just do um just to see if it Leo get out. Um and you see world edit works, so I can just do slash wand, right? And I don't have permissions. Oh yeah, I forgot. You need to op yourself. 
So just go into the command thing and just do op space and then your username. There. And then now you're opt. So you can just do double slash wand. And then you know you can do whatever you want. Alright, so so that's how to make a bucket server. If you already know how to make a vanilla server. Alright. So thanks for watching. Comment if you have any questions. And see you next time.